welcome to my channel if this is the first time you're seeing my face hi my name is Dana Mbuvi um, if you've not subscribed to my channel please make sure you do subscribe it helps me a lot if you're a returning subscriber a regular degular thank you so much um, before I start this video please 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 like and share this video thanks because you have no business not sharing this video so if my outfit looks familiar it's because part two part, this is part two of part one of which part two is happening on the same day as part one because there are so many activities and i'm trying to make this vid this vlogs not too long or, or too short to cater to some if not most of you um so anyway i am going to short beach there's a page i came across through tiktok called mida creek i will definitely leave the ig all the details here everything that i mention i will leave the details so yeah that page is called mida creek and the hotel i don't know which hotel i don't i don't understand the logistics or how this hotel is like related to whatever it is i'm going to do anyway i'm going to paddle surf which is an activity i saw on tiktok tiktok that you can do while you're in water basically I don't know what it is but i i am an adrenaline junkie i like doing things i like doing new stuff so that is what i am going to do and i'm going to take you guys with me and then see how the evening goes um the day before i had been invited by someone for a beach party i'm not sure if i'm going if i do go i will obviously also take you guys with me but there's something going on in our hotel and i do think this is the same vlog where i am going to be talking about the hotel that i am staying in and sharing about my experience what i think about the hotel and basically what you expect if you do come to the hotel so see you guys um where i will see you Out loud, I'ma have a quarter million on me right now. Hard to make a song about something other than the money. Who thinks I'm about to talk and blunt and stay in blunt and pretty women? Now you're here, are you here right now, huh? We should all disappear right now. Look, you're getting all your friends and you're getting in the car and you're coming to the house. Are we clear right now, huh? You see the fleet, all the new things. Cop cars with the loose chains. All white like a move things. Niggas see me rolling and they move change like a motherfucker. New floor, got a dozen of them I don't trust you, you are undercover I could probably make some steps and just fuck each other Talking fillets with the truffle butter Fresh sheets and towels, man, she gotta love it Yeah, they all get what they desire from it Now what? Tell them niggas we ain't hide from it So I've come to Mida Creek to paddle surf. Actually, Mida Creek is a hotel. I thought like it's like a place that does activities for people in Watamu. So I've been carried by a boat. We go where there's no nini. I've been ferried. Okay, ni mebeba kutoka na boat kutoka short beach had the Mida Creek. So now we are going to do the activity. And I must say, this hotel is very very beautiful. Please guys, just somebody send me money so that I can come here next time. Wow, it's just so nice because I'm not using my money next time. I am tired. So my captain is so nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, naweza fanya hivyo. Oh, ah. Like si mtakao mmefunga mguu wangu. Sawa. Hiki tu ni mzito. Sawa. Yeah, yeah. After screaming for like 10 hours. I feel so nice. Oh my gosh. Wow. Highly recommend. Like mkuje tu huku, mpande hiki tu, 
mpige nduru katikati ya Osha you know back in Nairobi you always asking where can i go and scream you can actually come to Watamu and scream in the middle of the ocean and nobody will ask you like i have so you guys should enjoy the next clips that i'm going to put for you but anyway the views i didn't ever like jacket just in case i don't think i'll need it then in tighter do you pray yeah my legs are safe i have a paddle i'm good <laughs> As you're just vibing here in the middle of the ocean, guys. Like, wow. Na pachinga kuzi kwa namnya maneza kunyuma mgu. Oh. Uku kuna nilikuwa diani wakasema kuna stonefish. Uku kuna zi. Uko kwa like the surface of the like uko kwenye ama ziko. Kuna mawe. Probably the best experience of my life. So we're back. Uh, at this hotel, Mida Creek. Kai, it's so pretty. Jesus. Wow. Hey, I'm trying to let you go to please. Anyway, I'll tell you the details about coming to this place um, some other time because my phone is about to die. My mom said to wait for me at the beach. So I'm sure I'm going to go So we go to the hotel. I'll tell you about the details of this another time. Yeah, so see you at the hotel. Nashuka! <laughs> oh, we are going to eat, but before we go to eat, we are just here to show you our outfits of the night. This is my outfit. This is my mom's outfit. These are the shoes I'm wearing. <laughs> and these are the shoes she's wearing. So, yeah, there's a performance today, so... We just wanted to look nice. Okay, we always just want to look nice also. Like, why? Hey, Mama, Papa, Nakuleta. 
unajamii nilikuwa nataka nirudi kwa hiyo nini nilikuwa nataka nirudi kwa hiyo problem ni pending thank you for using app basi app sina watu na sina ya type hapo acha ni nirudi na sasa mpesa fail acha turudi kwa sababu For me, this looks better. Sindia, na wewe una buy gani? Jeti ya green tu. Jeti ya green. We are totally. Na ina kwa ina kwa muwe yake. Kone si kwa na ni ni ina we ina kwa. We we nuli ya mama yako. So this is the official room tour, and I'm going to be talking over it. When you walk in, this is how it looks like. We are in room 134. Every room is indicated just like ours. Um, so when you walk in, you find this closet. It's in. It's been, like it's been made like that. I think there's enough closet closet space for all of us. And then there is a safe there for those who want. Like the space is big enough. Um, so there are two of them, and then. There is a light up there, and this is the bathroom. I like, I like how the bathroom is constructed. So there is the shower, um, the hot, the hot and cold setting, just like that. And then the mirror by the shower. It is also a hair dryer, a place to place your things. Okay, the shower gel and soaps the sink and then there's a mirror on the other side i like this it looks very very nice and then the window then there's this one to get and the good thing is they also have a urinal so if there's a guy in your room lucky them and then there's this cute decorative mirror that's there a socket over there my clothes are over there i'm the messy one and then our shoes and then there's a dresser over there and that chair okay another suitcase and then there's that bag over there they've tried they put a painting up there and this is the sleeping area there's one bed uh, a smaller bed and then our fridge a fridge is here and then there is the king size bed and i'm seeing there's also a that thing what is it called um another painting the ac and they also have a fan which these are all the things that are used to operate the ac and the fan so when you turn this on the fan starts moving okay starts fanning and then there's also another pair of mirrors yeah so we're done with the inside basically that's just it nothing you know nothing ott but it's cute and enough for us and now this is the outside area basically the balcony nobody has sat here except my grandma there's this beautiful chair this table and that light that goes on i think we're going to sit here leo siku and then the back part and then the door to the balcony which connects obviously to the room then there's the other sides like there's no division between our room and the other person so yeah but then the view absolutely breathtaking like just just look at this you see my bitch say she had bad anytime i knock i knock with that no rubber band no rubber band every time i down you show me that if i know loud she got my back I do you, I'm happy that I do you Say everything I do is for my woman 
Anything at all where you talk, I go do one. Now that I'm done with the room tour, I think it's just the perfect time for me to give my my thoughts about this hotel. We've been staying at Lipan's Resort in Watamu. It's just near a beach but it's a public beach if you're if you're you're planning to come and visit here just know it's a public beach and the thing that drew me to this hotel was the pool area i really really love swimming and i enjoy when i can swim in various pools that's a plus for them they have three pools one outside our room and two at the main area that is where we eat where there's a bar and where everyone gathers for all those things and then obviously the rooms i'll just start by talking about the rooms we've got a single room that has two beds which is the a king size and a smaller bed of course because we are three of us i feel like if you're two of you or maybe if you're like you're two of you one one like one bed is enough i don't know how the other rooms are constructed but i i, I there are other rooms like they've named them there's a category of rooms ours is just a standard a standard room and let me just talk about the room. Actually, let me let me just talk about the room around one million. It's it's not it's not um it's not like I've been to. Let me just compare it to Leopard since that's the most recent place I've been to. I think that's the only hotel I've been to for real. And comparing it to that, it's it's kinda underwhelming, but for the price, it's it's okay. For the price, it's okay because you paid seven thousand per person. On a, on a half good basis that is breakfast and dinner so the rooms are okay they're not the cutest but they're not ugly they're just okay like if you're the person who's into aesthetics into like things that are in a straight line white tiles white walls bright colors um this may not be the place for you because I feel like it's 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 an old hotel and probably they may be they may or may not have the budget to fix or do all their repairs because we were told that the like the place was recently on fire like Kunamahali Luchomeka so they're working on fixing that as well and probably hopefully I do believe at one point they will work on fixing the rooms because the locks have a pro like the locks have a they're just not well constructed i'd say also another thing about our bathroom it has a funny smell we didn't mention that I, but i don't know about the other bathrooms but our bathroom has a, a funny smell the other thing i don't like is they do not give complimentaries they don't have sandals they don't have robes why please like how am i supposed to feel like i'm in a hotel if you're not giving me sandals and like robes for me to take pictures in um then Kutingine about the rooms is i feel like this hotel is co-owned by maybe more than two people or even like very many people because you pay for room service like you cannot call and say bring for me my breakfast here you're going to pay for it and they charge 300 bob there it's it's that for me i don't mind it it's not like something that i'm feeling like oh my god let me move no it's 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 quite okay because i'm not the type to be always staying in a hotel room i actually feel this is the longest i've been here like i we just come we shall we dip we just go and explore so if you're the person to stay in hotel rooms and such my such things are key to you this may not be the place for you but i like the place i personally like the place i would recommend the place but i am hoping the management does something about improving um the construction of the place those smell smells i'm talking about and maybe some of these two issues issues the other thing that i really 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 like about the place is the staff the staff is very friendly there's this lady by the name jane i was just seeing everyone quite reviews i can mention i also think jane is one of the reasons we grew to really like the place like my mom was like mm, uh, uh but then she met jane and jane is so nice she's very welcoming she makes sure during dinner she's asked if like she comes table by table she's like do you like your dinner how was your day today what do you feel you can improve like i that's a very like that's a very good employee congratulations to whoever has hired her and she always looks so nice for work god please to look like jane every day for work um yeah 
which are the things that I feel like I needed to mention. Oh, there's also something else that's really, really cute they're doing. When we go for dinner at night, they come and they make for you the beds. And then, you see the way, kuna kwanga yevi na, okay, sorry, ni kona homa. Like, sasa ni wanyeshi aje. Tuseme ni kitanda alafu ini bed sheet. Sasa hapa si ni urakuja kufunua hivi, ndi uwenge alafu jifunike. They make for you pleats, like using this sheet, and then they leave for you sweets. Ah. Every night, guys. Every night. Every bed. Another thing I need to mention is this place is very Italian dominated. And the, also the vibe and the energy is very, very Italian, including the menu, by the way. Hey, you know, there's a lot of spaghetti and macaroni. I don't like those things. And, you know, um, we are black, we are Africans. We like heavy food. Give us chicken, give us meat. Give us pork, like stuff like that. Not like light foods, you know, kidogo, kidogo. I also like to the management please make sure please try as much as possible like maybe it's not maybe you don't have the budget budget or something but try as much as possible to to make the place feel african and to be more welcoming to the kenyan population because at that price range i feel so many people would love to come to this hotel but i don't want to leave my house in nairobi to come and eat spaghetti and minced meat while i can just do that in my house yeah so i think that's it other than that i i generally like the place i would come back the thing that would make me come back to this hotel number one is my tuk-tuk guy i will leave his number by the way when you're in watamu you come you use his number Number two, Jane. Number three, the pool. Number four, also the receptionist called Alphonse. Very, very nice guy, that one. Like, the stuff here is so nice. The, uh, the stuff I give them, 10 over 10. Like, ten, they ate and left no crumbs. For the, for the hotel, I will give you a seven. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, you will be able to improve on those areas. But if you want to come and visit, please just come like just come and experience it there are so many places you can visit while you're around here you don't have to be stuck in the hotel it's it's it's, it's cute very cute so bye is this the end this is not the end i don't know what we are doing today again but this is not the end see you later guys can share about my experience at mid -Africa. I swear that's the best thing I've ever done in my whole life like yeah let me not think about the stuff I've done in my life but like that's one of the best experiences so far um, it was 2600 so they charge $20 per hour and the dollar rate right now is just the way it feels like so I paid 2600 so what happened is um, we are serving what crab shark here we were at Crab Shack, um, Amani dropped me to Short Beach and then from Short Beach the captain, um, his name is David, came for me at Short Beach and took me to Middle Creek the hotel and then now we started surfing from there, like around the ocean, into the mangrove trees and all that and then we started um, paddling back and then the currents were too strong and they were against the direction we were going so the other captain's boat had to come and get us so that's what basically happened if you're in watamu i highly highly recommend that you do that if you're not afraid of water if you like trying new stuff that's a very very good activity for you to try yeah currently today i'm just at the hotel my mom and my shosho are just chilling somewhere there i'm at the bar i'm drinking i've not drunk this whole time i've not drunk in a while so yeah there's a cocktail they're making for me hopefully it's nice and then i go to the house 
<laughs> yeah oh that's my cocktail wow out loud i must have a quarter million on me right now hard to make a song about something other than the money who thinks i'm about to talk and blunt and stay in blunt and pretty women now you're here are you here right now huh we should all disappear right now look you're getting all your friends and you're getting in the car and you're coming to the house are we clear right now huh you see the fleet all the new things cop cars with the loose chains all white like a move things niggas see me rolling and they move change like a motherfucker New floor, got a dozen of them. I don't trust you, you are undercover. I could probably make some steps and just fuck each other. Woo! Talking fillets with the truffle butter. Fresh sheets and towels, man, she gotta love it. Yeah, they all get what they desire from it. You know what? Tell them niggas we ain't hiding from it. So, hi again, it's me. Um, lunch is amazing, I love the pizza, very, very filling. So, it's currently, I think it's 6 pm. I'm going to Leech House again. I've made new friends, so we're going out. I don't know where else we're going to go, but the plan is to go to Leech House. It looks so, so cute. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see well, but this is my outfit of the evening. I'm wearing these pants from Milan Design Hub. These pants were from, I'll tag the page, it was from a page on IG that sent it to me as pants. And the shoes, which are Mutumba, and this bag, which is from Zara. Zara but like i bought it from platform so yeah see you guys wherever i'm going hi guys just checking in the next day um it's 2 p.m we are here for lunch at the hotels and restaurants like we were yesterday um we're going home today in the evening at night at six so we had breakfast obviously you know the usual i slept today like since asubui so yesterday i went to ocean spot with my new friends it's a very nice place it's so chilled um loved the cocktails loved the views we went to collect crabs as well like it was so nice i feel like i will go back there again if i ever do come back to what i'm so yeah i think we've come to the end of this vlog thank you so much for watching up until part two if you have been watching um i think i made these vlogs long because one person on ig kept asking me to make them long so if you don't like them long i don't know what to tell you but anyway yeah i think i hope i have plugged you to nice stuff if you're in watamu you know where to go where to visit um I will, let me just mention this again so that i remember to i will leave my tuk tuk guy's number in the description box he's so nice like extremely extremely kind when you come here make sure 
when you come to lily palm that is make sure you try that watermelon cocktail i had it's so nice i don't know me nilikuwa nalewa sijui watu walikuwa nasema how are you and then well try lich house lich house is so nice but make a reservation the place gets really really full um and crab shack as well it's not bad but lich house i love that place so yeah subscribe if you've not um like share comment and do all the nice stuff it helps my channel grow and you'll keep seeing me here if you interact with my content because if you don't interact you're going to hurt my feelings so yeah that's that's the end but of course as usual i have left you guys another interesting videos for you video for you guys to watch after this one so bye i will see you on my next upload